is a somber subject and I know a lot of people don't want to hear about this but it, this is my coping mechanism this is how I'm going to cope with the situation that my grandma's dead mind you it is my great grandma but that doesn't make it any better <laughs> like someone is dead and I've never lost like anyone close to me before so this is like a big moment this is what do they call it like the candid event like spider-man like this is what this is this is huge this is big this is a issue this is something i'm gonna have to deal with and the way when i tell you the way i found out was so horrific um i got a text from my cousin she texts me she's like are you going to the funeral and i'm like what funeral she's like oh no one told you and i was like no no one told me I'm just like what like how what and yeah it was very much one of those like this can't be real moments and I was really close with my grandma in my youth but as I got older you know of course I got kind of like filtered out in that um realm of dealing with my grandmother but yeah I was like distraught for a bit and it's funny because I don't know I'm like maybe I'm a sociopath because I was literally pouring down crying like Kim K and then like two seconds later I was like take a deep breath and I was like okay I'm done I'm done crying I'm over it <laughs> like there has to be like some like psychopathic like energy like that's giving to your killer that's not the first time like I have like cried like that I literally pull out like an actor pouring down crying one moment and then I take a deep breath and I'm like done wiping my face I'm like okay I'm finished I'm over it, like, I'm fine now. And that's probably not the healthiest way to go about things, but I had to email my professors that day and tell them, be like, yo, my great-grandma just died. I am distraught. The email, <laughs> the email was so sad. I was reading the email to my roommate, and she was, like, crying. And I'm like, bitch, why are you crying? Like, my grandma's dead like what the fuck she's like that's just so sad and i'm like you're the last person who should be crying over my grandma being dead like what the actual fuck is happening right now like it's always a scenario where you're always into being the center of attention like why am i consoling you that doesn't make any fucking sense but anyways um i was just angry at that moment um <laughs> she was really sweet she was really nice we like went out and ate dumplings and like talked about it and stuff but I don't know I feel like having that first like grieving experience is a lot and it's gonna go ahead and change how you perceive yourself I mean it's changed how I've gone ahead and perceived myself I don't I can't speak for other people I'm just saying what I'm saying like this is the internet you don't have to listen to me but I feel like it's one of those things that like really changes like how you perceive how you grieve because I'm like sitting there I'm emailing my professors but I'm like I still feel fine to like go to class like I know like I just found this out and I have an exam tomorrow but like in all like in all caps like I'm good like I still feel like I can go to class I still feel like I can do this exam that's tomorrow even though I just found out she's dead you know so I feel like I'm, like, trying to forlong this persona of, like, my grandma's dead. So, like, I need to save face and, like, not go to class because my teachers are going to be, like, oh, well, like, is her grandma dead? Like, why is she, like, why is she in class if her grandma's dead? Like, that's just, like, it just doesn't align with the fact that I am distraught, you know? But I feel like I'm very much a person to, like, suppress emotions and not really like put them out on the table so like yeah my like grandma's dead and I'm sad about it but I'm just gonna like I'm not gonna like sit in bed and cry about it for like eight hours it's not like my fucking husband's dead or my mom's dead or something like I'm gonna like move along and go about my fucking day like that's just how I'm gonna do is your grandma dead too and you would like to escape your reality? Well, I've got just the thing for you. This video is kindly sponsored by Book of the Month. Get your first book off for $5 because nothing deals with grief better than consumerism and escaping your own reality. Your first book, only $5 at Book of the Month. 
link is down below and this is not even like a very much like a strong link it's not even like a strong link like grief moment you know what i mean like it's one of those it's like it hits hard but like it's not gonna hit hard for like multiple days type situation it's not one of those like big turn grieving moments and i didn't really like start like when i first like read the message i i'm like sitting on the floor about to start my work assignment and i was just like crying a tiny bit and just like what well, like who what like she's she's dead she's she's dead i didn't really start truly crying until i was on the phone with my grandmother mind you i had a great grandma not anymore because she's dead i have two like one gen back grandmas so great grandma and i have two grandmas one for my mom one for my dad um one for one now baby the ratio's even because she's dead um yeah so <laughs> i'm on the phone with my grandma my mom's mom and i'm like Annie Pearl is dead and she's like what like what it look who who died what what and I'm like Annie Pearl's dead and then she's pissing me off because she's saying shit she's like oh well like you know she she was proud of you and she would want you to like move on and like be happy and I'm like fucking are you fucking kidding me like of all the things you can say to me that's what you're saying right now like bro what the fuck <laughs> what the actual fuck it's like that's a lie even if it in its way it's like bro if i were to die tomorrow like i want people to be distraught like i want you to be crying for weeks on end about me like the hell you mean talking about she would want you to move on like can i cry at least once like bitch just be like okay just listen just listen to me cry on the phone like oh so frustrating and then my um my cousin called in the middle of me like talking to my grandma and she was like <laughs> hey like how you doing and i was like bitch i'm pissed off <laughs> because i didn't even know she was dead and i'm again like trying to talk through like crying and just it wasn't working i'm like hyperventilating and she's like well i thought they told you and i was like no they did not tell me do you think i would be just distraught on a tuesday afternoon if they had told me but apparently she died on sunday she had stage four lung cancer but i just thought she would like you know hone it out for a little bit longer possibly maybe i had high expectations but she did not she she died so she's dead um yeah and i have to go to the funeral on thursday so guess who won't be going to class this girl here because i will be um doing funeral things things that people do when they're at funerals and at this point i'm just like it's nice to get out of the cold weather it's gonna be amazing food at the funeral and a lot of funerals in the south are very festive so i just know there's gonna be somebody dancing in front of the casket so i'm looking forward to that that's gonna be fun but i'm also looking forward to some homemade fried chicken is that a little shitty yes i know i'm gonna be there for my grandma's funeral but i'm still gonna have a good time because i'm not gonna let death go ahead and bring me down with it you know that's the type of vibe i'm on right now just like fuck it people die every day you know there's somebody dead right now and nobody even knows about it or like somebody is dead right now and like nobody even fucking cares like you know it's all shit like that you know just people die all the time 